Now, the foundation was established to help the, the, the struggling farmers during the big droughts, uh, floods and fires, and then the live export ban. That's because debt, debt's pushed the farmers to the wall. Um, generational farms have been lost, so three generations, and they lose it to the banks. And it's in such dire straits. The banks drive them to the wall. Back in the day, the bank manager was a business partner to a business. That's been forgotten. Now it is the middle and upper, upper management which basically come in and just look at you as a file. They don't look at the people. They don't work with them as a business partner to say, how can we help you? Um, Life Cattle Export Band was a typical example. And that just sent a tsunami right across the country. The rural heart now is truly broken in Australia. If we don't repair that rural heart, our country's lost. But the idea is to start reaching out into all the small communities. Uh, we put a lot of different initiatives and a lot of different programs together, um, such as the We Are Here program. Uh, we send a film crew in um, and they videotape the town and find out all the good bits about it. Uh, we send some comedians in. It's just a light relief. And, and most of these guys, they need a bit of light relief coming on a Saturday or whatever. But it's helping focus attention on Australian towns once again. We made a decision to investigate setting up a charitable organisation to actually look after some of the social needs because you can't have healthy country, you don't have healthy communities, and that was always one of our mantras. Uh, June 2011, the live export ban hit. And um, that tipped the whole industry over, so there was a lot of, lot of really bad financial pain, a lot of social dislocation. You've got to remember this was a, through a period of the industry downturn that lasted about a decade, where some businesses were losing up 6% a year. So, like, their equity was shrinking, the, the banks got really aggressive. The people that make these decisions aren't the people at the coalface that we deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. They, sit in the Ivory Tower and Collins Street in Melbourne or wherever they sit and they make decisions looking at spreadsheets. And it's just a numbers game, you know. What we're trying to do is to, not to reinvent the wheel, but to uh, work with existing community organisations, to work with existing business, to try and, and um, give the information to government so that they can make good decisions to understand that there is a need um, for support and that at different times. So it's about a holistic approach, but working on specific community needs to not try and dictate a solution, but to have the community identify what the solution that they want and to facilitate that in a way that is beneficial to them. Let distance not divide us. There may be many distances, um, kilometres between a town, but the issues are still there, the people are still there, and after all, the farmers and those rural communities and the truckies and all the other silos that are around them, they feed the cities, they move the cities. Imagine, imagine a community with no trucks, imagine a country with no trucks.